you uh, another question which is what is the eligibility criteria for caps exam yeah so basically caps exam what will be the steps of the caps exam so if, if I... hello everyone i am isha and today we have dr akram ahmed with us today we are going to talk about pharmacist job in australia so let's start by asking some very important questions which you all want to know so let's start by asking our first question which is so what is caps exam so caps exam basically a knowledge assessment of pharmaceutical sciences so you basically whatever you study in your bachelor of pharmacy or master of pharmacy or yeah, doctor of pharmacy you did in your home country so they just want to check your knowledge okay so this is the caps exam is for all the overseas qualified ph- pharmacists so they want to practice in australia so for them they need to pass this exam and this caps exam they can write in their home country um so this is the advantage and once they pass the exam and then they can migrate to australia so any person who wants to settle in australia with a pharmacist job can give the caps exam and now i'll ask you uh, another question which is what is the eligibility criteria for caps exam yeah so basically caps exam the eligibility criteria bahut hi simple hai ki anyone did 4 year bachelor degree in pharmacy they are eligible to practice in australia they were eligible to uh, register themselves as a registered pharmacist in australia so the main is uh, you must be a pharmacy graduate and you must be a registered pharmacist in the home country registration is mandatory and then you are eligible basically yahi eligibility and there is no work experience required um to migrate to australia as a pharmacist so uh, there are so many students like who just passed the uh, pharmacist exam or who are in their final year or who are who have cleared the exam but uh, they are not registered yet can they give the caps exam ये दिस इज वेरी कॉमन क्वेश्चन दो हजार लाइक फार्म डी फाइनल ईयर स्टूडेंट है या अगर आपने बी फॉर्म फाइनल ईयर किया है क्या वो लोग एग्जाम लिख सकते हैं या नहीं है ना तो बेसिकली एट एकेडमिकली वी कैन हेल्प यू यू कैन स्टार्ट योर प्रिपरेशन नाउ ऑन वर्ड वेन यू आर इन योर फाइनल फाइनल ईयर इन फार्म डी और बी फॉर्म बट यू ओनली कैन राइट द एग्जाम वंस यू कम्प्लीट इट ऑफ योर रजिस्ट्रेशन और मे बी यू अप्लाई फॉर रजिस्ट्रेशन इन योर फॉर्म कंट्री योर स्टेट फॉर्म सी काउंसिल एंड इफ यू कैन गेट ए लेटर फ्रॉम डेट दे कैन मैं योर नेम दिस इन डेट यू अपलाइड एस ऑन सेम डेट एंड यू नो यू आर एलिजिबल फॉर रजिस्ट्रेशन इन दैट केस ऑल्सो यू आर एलिजिबल यू कैन बेसिकली स्टार्ट प्रोसेस फॉर रजिस्ट्रेशन एस एज ए फार्मिस्ट इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया so i think this clears a lot of confusion about caps exam and what is its eligibility criteria so uh, if a pharmacist wants to work in australia so what are what will be the steps of the caps exam so if if any uh, overseas qualified pharmacist they want to practice in australia so there is a certain step they need to complete in order to register themselves as a pharmacist with the australian pharmacy council so number one step or first step is clearly called initial skill assessment or we can also say like document verification we can say like step one so these are the documents you have to submit to the australian pharmacy council is the number one step number two you need to write this caps exam we have many times you know discuss about the caps exam at the academically we provide the coaching for this so easily you can pass this exam in your home country and migrate to australia then number 3 step is the english requirements like ielts oet or pt you need to pass this exam we also provide coaching for this and then you can apply your pr visa and come to australia as we discuss about the steps i want to ask you what is skill assessment yes so skill assessment nothing but it just want to check your document are like original like right? from which university you graduate your degree and you uh, must be a registered pharmacist in your home country on all those things they just check the document thing so there are certain documents required for this like they will see your degree and your registration as a pharmacist or you can get a letter from uh, on your state pharmacy council if you are not yet registered or they need your uh, like degree transcript they need and they also need your passport and they also need birth certificate uh, you know and uh, one photograph uh, uh, and like uh, passport photograph only these are the documents required to submit for a uh, assessment okay guys so these are the documents which are required to give the uh, to apply for the caps exam and uh, moving forward i want to ask very important question which uh, everyone is asking these days so what will the fee structure and the time duration in between the whole process 
Yeah. So as I mentioned, this is the first step we are doing basically in order to migrate to Australia to for your share as a pharmacist in Australia. So in this, basically the fees you need to pay to Australian Pharmacy Council is called one three one zero Australian dollar. Or if I convert it into Indian rupees, it's going to be around seventy thousand Indian rupees. Uh, this is the fees you need to pay, and uh, the timeline basically uh, APC said basically it, it may take up to eight weeks. But in generally, we are doing a lot of. Uh, we are helping the students in general they are doing within her uh, two to three week maximum nowadays uh, okay sir got it. thank you